Hi, I'm Joe. I was born on the 17th of November, 1991, which makes me now 20. Hey, no longer a teenager, but that date should ring a bell. The EHF was founded the very same day. You know the EHF, right? The European Handball Federation. I gotta say, I absolutely love handball. In fact, I can tell you a little bit about what's been going on since our joint birthday. There was a lot going on back in 1991. Archaeologists were busy digging up some fellow from South Tyrol called Utsi. Just like him, the sport had been around for ages. But in 91, it all changed. The EHF really brought it to life. Sadly, it was too late for our frozen friend. Maybe the EHF could make Utsi honorary president. Speaking of presidents, in 1992, just a year later, Bill Clinton got the top job in America. Who had heard of him before? Oh yeah, and text messages were invented. Unbelievable. How did you survive without SMS? In 1992, I took my first steps, just like the EHF. The first marketing deal was signed and sealed. Complete independence was on its way. The Scorpions sang about the wind of change when the EHF reformatted the Champions League. But that was nowhere near as big as what happened the year after. I started at kindergarten. While I was stuck in a room full of sick kids, in 1994, Michael Schumacher was winning his first Formula One title. And the English and French finally became best friends by opening the Channel Tunnel. And there was something else, 1994, hmm, what was it? Oh, got it. The first ever handball European Championship. Yeah, in 1994, the Swedish men's team and the women's team from Denmark became Europe's first handball champions. That was a pretty big thing. And the EHF invented a load of new events, like the mini handball festival for the kids, and later on, for the more senior players, the Masters handball event was set up. The events were welcomed even more than the news that Take That were at last splitting up. The following year, in 1997, Titanic was the talk of the town, the film, not the boat. It won 11 Oscars and was the most successful film ever. And new parents stopped naming their babies Dolly. Dolly the sheep was the first cloned life form in history. Wait a minute. The EHF was growing pretty quickly back then. Maybe there was more cloning going on. Well, to make sure all the clones, uh, employees had somewhere to work, new headquarters were built in Vienna. And the new office quickly became a meeting point for handball professionals from around the world. Impressive stuff. In 1998, my kindergarten punishment was upgraded. I was sent to school. 98 also saw the release of two life-changing products, Google and Viagra. The sport of handball also experienced impressive growth. <clears throat> more and more people started going to watch games, and the EHF took the game to the next level with the unified concept for court surfaces used for the first time in Bolzano. The courts were looking cool. Even superstars were joining in the hype. I mean, who could forget Britney Spears' 1999 handball ballad, Hit Me Baby One More Time? Classic. And of course, who could forget beach handball? Now that is cool. 
Well, actually, it's pretty hot, and the sand gets everywhere. Still, the first beach handball championships were a massive hit in 2000. But there was no time for the EHF to take a break in the sun. In 2001, they made progress behind the scenes by getting smart. Specific, milestones, accepted, realistic, time. Or smart. It helps develop infrastructure, expertise, and a load of other handball initiatives for the national federations. One year later, we got the Euro. And everything seemed to get more expensive. In 2002, the EHF's very own Euro was in full swing, with the fifth championships being held for both the men's and women's national teams. Two years down the line, and I had finally reached my teens. 13. Unlucky for some. My parents. But I had something to distract me. Facebook. I could meet girls without even leaving the house. Awesome. With his hat trick of three terms completed, Stefan Holmquist was followed by Tor Lian. Just two presidents in 20 years. Wow, that's stability. Politicians and economists could learn a thing or two from the EHF. Back to the Euros. In 2004, the Norwegian women won their second championship title. In 2006, they made it three. In 2008, it was four. And just for a change, they made it five in 2010. Boring. Unless you're Norwegian, of course. In the men's competition, the team to beat was Sweden with four titles. These Scandinavians, honestly, there must be something in the water. On the club scene, FC Barcelona were the top dogs in the Champions League. Yes, we are still talking about handball. The Spanish team became six-time Champions League winners since its first season in 93. Messi and friends could learn a lesson from them. Uh, by the way, Kupo Niederösterreich have taken the most women's Champions League titles, winning it four times. Who said Austrians are only good at skiing? The world went crazy for the iPhone in 2007. And a year later, Barack Obama became America's new boss. With a little help from the EHF. Yes, we can, was his winning slogan. I shouldn't need to tell you that can is the EHF's Competence, Academy and Network Educational Program. Hasn't the EHF been invited to the White House yet? In 2009, I started at university. And Avatar hit the big screen in 3D. It sank Titanic's box office record, taking $2.8 billion. Handball is still a long way from making that kind of money. But what about... Handball in 3D. How cool would that be? In 2010, the last European Championships were held. The men's event was in Vienna and the women's in Denmark and Norway. They were watched on TV by over 1.3 billion people worldwide, making them the most successful championships in EHF history. So far, the reigning men's champions are France and, well, you already know who holds the women's title. Is there anyone out there that can stop the Norwegians? In fact, 2010 was a really busy year, especially for the Germans. They won the Eurovision Song Contest, Vettel became the new Schumacher, and the first Final Four tournament was held in Cologne. An excellent arena packed with excellent fans. And on the court, they tasted success too. The winners were THV Kiel. In 2011, the Velux Final Four ended with victory for FC Barcelona in front of 20,000 fans. 
Phew! I think that's just about everything. 20 years full of highlights and unforgettable moments for the EHF. And me. But what about the next 20 years? I know what I want. Simple, really. Even more awesome handball. Happy birthday, EHF. <laughs>